Whether financially, emotionally, or even physically, harm done to one person can impact their descendants for several generations. In Grover v. Eli Lilly and Company, we'll explore whether a child injured by his mother's exposure to a drug in utero had a cause of action for his own subsequent injury. From the 1940s through the 1960s, DES was prescribed to women to prevent miscarriage. Candy Grover's mother took DES while she was pregnant with Candy. DES was subsequently discovered to cause vaginal cancer at a high rate in female children who were exposed to the medication in utero. Candy Grover later became pregnant and gave birth to her son, Charles Grover. Charles was born prematurely and had severe birth defects. Charles alleged that his mother's exposure to DES caused problems in her reproductive system, which subsequently caused his own defects. As a result, Charles brought a product's liability action against one of DES's manufacturers, Eli Lilly and Company, in the United States District Court for the Northern District of Ohio. The District Court certified the question to the Ohio Supreme Court as to whether a child has a cause of action for injuries stemming from a harm suffered by the child's mother prior to the child's conception. 